I would ask the audience, uh, some of you are getting a little excited and I don't want this to escalate into anything more than just a time of public comment. I want to be able to hear what everybody has to say. So. If it escalates, we'll have to bring out the green eggs and ham. Mr. Lewis? I, uh, I'm a, uh, a voter registered voter in Colorado Springs. I too would like to ask for a public hearing, citizen review committee, further investigation in this. But otherwise, I have no opinion to offer you today of my own. Uh, I simply want to go over a list, and I'd like to have this uh, entered into the min minutes here of uh, the effects that I am positive you are not aware of, of these uh, chemicals. Um, 80 countries signed the Geneva Protocols in 1969 out along the use of tear gas in warfare that doesn't apply to uh, uh, domestic use, no. Among those signatories, ironically, Iraq, Iran, Libya, Afghanistan, North Korea, Syria, the axis of evil. Um, 1995 report by the Army published in the American Journal of Emergency Medicine found that the, uh, the manufacturer's material data sheets are not accurate. That was their finding. Uh, DevTech, one of the major manufacturers of the 108 manufacturers in the U.S. of tear gas doesn't release their material data sheets. Uh, the 1983 fundamental applied toxicology found that it was fatal in humans at a much lower concentration than in mice where it's usually studied because it's just unethical to study it on human people. Uh, the Washington Toxics Coalition report in 2000 found the respiratory effects are pulmonary edema and reactive airways dysfunction disorder. Dr. Kurt Murphy of the Physicians for Social Responsibility found that in Seattle, Washington at the WTO demonstrations there, which was the largest uh, exposure of tear gas uh, domestically here, that 35% of the women exposed experienced spontaneous menstruation within hours. There was one documented case of spontaneous abortion. Zark International, which is a manufacturer that does release its materials data sheet, and I have that information here for you, uh, says that the malonitrile uh, part of this uh, compound degrades into cyanide in the body. The lethal dose for a 150 pound person is one gram or less. 1968, American Journal of Ophthalmology reviewed the files from the Army Forces uh, Institute of Pathology where a lot of people, a lot of these studies have been done because they give you a gas mask, they put you in a room, they set off a canister, you have to get the gas mask on. It's part of Army training. They removed 14 eyes from 13 soldiers. They found intense necrotizing keratitis, which is the destruction and death of the cornea, a superlative iridocyclitis, which is a destruction of the iris and the muscles there. In the next 15 years, they had to remove uh, the remaining nine eyes of the soldiers and they found the same thing then. Uh, Mr. Lewis, your time is up. I thank you for your uh, time, and I'd like to uh, pass this to you. If you'd give that to the clerk.